Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome to a new Let's Play for Starcom Nexus. This is um, a relatively new game into early access. We are in the beta, as you can see. It is um, updated on the regular and um, yeah, it is an action RPG space game. You fly around, you get into fights, it, it has um, action combat. It's not like turn-based or anything like Star Traders Frontiers. You fly around, you click, and you shoot. Think more like, um, is that really Space Pirates Zombies? Kind of, mm -hmm. Closer to that than Star Traders. Um, actually based on an old Flash game, I think, called Starcom on Congregate. I think that's, that's where I'd seen it before. I may have even played it many, many years ago. Um, but I don't actually remember that. And it's, uh, so it's generally new for me. I, I have played a tiny bit. Um, I also had some difficulty uh, actually recording. Apparently, it uses quite a bit of CPU. The one downside with being the board, uh, in the beta, the options. I, I don't know if these are actually doing anything. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I turned them to low just to try and get things to run properly. And um, I don't think it actually made any difference. Hopefully, the settings that I use on OBS are suitable and it's gonna be nice for you. Do let me know down in the comments. I'm going to do a, a trial run, basically, of seven episodes. It seems fine to me, but, you know, you guys uh, end up watching it, obviously, much more than I do. So let me know down in the comments. The quality's a bit crap. Do let me know. I don't I don't want to continue putting out stuff if it's not really up to snuff. But enough about that. We're going to jump into this game. Um, like I said, it's basically a, an action RPG in space. You kind of, you've got research, you build and upgrade your ship. I don't know if he's so much as level up. I think that's kind of an upgrade and research uh, department. And then you go exploring. There's some overarching story going on. Um, I'm not going to get into any of that. We'll figure that all out together. And uh, yeah, in my little bit of experience with it, I did quite enjoy the game. So I think I'm just going to do um, what comes against my very nature. Shut up and just uh, press play. Let's go ahead and start. The game, we will be a man, captain of the maker. Very good. Let's go ahead and start. Very excited to be playing this game. Took me a long time to get it to work. <laughs> Did I say anything from now? Okay. Finally got command of your ship, eh, man? I guess it's really more of a shuttle. But I myself started on a station tug. At least yours is technically a starship. Starship? Kite station isn't the most glamorous posting in Starcom, but like I said, we all started somewhere. Yes, sir. What's my first mission? I think my assignment roster calls it a delivery, but sure, we can call it a mission if you'd like, and I would. Your mission is to deliver the cargo in your hold to Kite Station. I believe you've got a replacement water purification system, several tons of mixed mineral resources, and a few dozen crates from an archaeology dig on Marduk Beta the Third. Super interesting stuff. When you get there, see the Commodore for additional missions. Marduk. This makes me think of... Oh, it was a show on Adult Swim a long time ago. What is it? Sea Lab 2021. There's an episode where they make this uh, hallucinogenic drug from the fugu fish. Everybody takes it on the Sea Lab. It's a ridiculous show. But there's this line from it. One of the guys on, on who takes it, he, he's... He like becomes enlightened by this god Marduk, and this the uh, one of the his colleagues is like, I want Marduk inside me. Like, Marduk desires not the barren wasteland of your desiccated viscera. And uh, yeah, that line has stuck in my head <laughs> for I don't know, 12, 15 years or something since I saw it. Marduk. Anyways, back to the game. We'll get the cargo there right away. We're, we're not, we're happy in our place, right? We're, we're newbies, we don't know what's going on. Better hurry, those archeological artifacts are almost two million years old already. All right, we've got to fly somewhere. Um, all right, tutorial, easy peasy. You do, you can read it yourself there, and we'll continue. Am I supposed to fly in a particular direction? There are numbers here. Are you going to the space station? Am I going the wrong way? 
I have honestly no idea. Small asteroid field ahead. Okay, I am going the right way. Steer round, but a good time for target practice. Yes, we can shoot the asteroids. Now, I am better at turn-based games than I am at action games. I used to be in my youth. Yeah, nice shooting. Yeah, right. In my youth, I was better at these kinds of games. But you know what happens. Your reflexes uh, get a bit old. That's odd. Getting some strange readings from the sensors. Could be a solar flare. I'm just seem a bit off. That's probably normal. Uh, nope. Sorry, I don't mean to sound alarmed, but 50 warning lights just lit up on my console. Also, something seems to be pulling us towards that giant glowing rift. Probably want to fly away from it. No? Am I flying away from it? No, I'm not. I'm getting pulled in. Well, in that case, there's only one way to get in the Juilliard. Practice, practice, practice. Let us just dive in. Oh my god. Um, okay, I can't. Okay. Big ass space battle. I'm feigning my surprise here. <laughs> I've done this before. What the hell just happened? Pardon my language, Commander. We got damage reports coming from all sectors. Instruments are offline. Damage control teams are scrambling. I don't know. But there are things up here. Okay, nav computer is back online, but it's failing to resolve our position. It doesn't recognize the stellar configuration. Scanners have picked up Starcom signal. Looks like it's Kite Station. Maybe then what happens? Marked it on the HUD. All right, let us go. That is heads up display. I'm sure all these people know. Hey, look. It's the same cursor. <laughs> I don't know what these all mean. And um, that's you, intruder. You are in Chittick controlled space. Identify your meet yourself immediately or be destroyed. I am man, a human representation of Starcom. We are an organization of peaceful exploration. One of our research outposts was just destroyed, and here you are, an unidentified ship in our territory. Explain this. Um, we were pulled into this region by a rift in space. A rift in space pulled your ship to the exact point in space occupied by a research outpost, thereby destroying it. That is incredible. Do you believe us? Our universal translator system may be having some issues with your language. Does incredible does not, not mean not credible? Not exactly. It means amazing or fantastic. But it is telling that your language is as deceptive as its speakers. We believe you are agents of the sword. Disable your weapon systems and await our incredibly peaceful response. This isn't going to be a peaceful response. I already know. Spoilers. Oh boy. It's, it's all okay. We can do this. Ow, he's hitting me more than I'm hitting him. I do only have a certain amount. Now, I, I promise I will get better at this as time goes on. Don't judge me. All right, there we go. Kill. We don't seem to have lost life. Did getting shot take energy away from us? Not entirely sure. We can also zoom in. That's nice. I like the little effect you got. You got your uh, side thrusters there. Let's go to the station. Good music. Good music, I think. Very space like. Relaxing. Kite station, press X to dock. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, okay. There's a bunch of station notices. Bad things have happened. Here are good things. <laughs> Boring things. Anyways. You must be man. We detected a Starcom vessel. I was hoping it was Captain Lee. No offense, but the Byzantium is a warship. We had no ships docked at the station when, well, whatever that was happened. Looks like you're the only starship we've got. The Maker is a small ship, but my crew and I are ready for anything. That's the attitude I want to see. I hope for all your sake you're right. Whatever the rift was, we're in bad shape. Speaking of the rift, what the hell was it? I have no idea. A lot of our databanks are completely fried by the event, but I'm pretty sure we never had any record of a rift in space that pulls ships into another galaxy. 
So here's our situation. Based on our initial encounters with a race called the Chittick, we're in unfriendly territory. We're low on resources. We've lost a lot of our technical data. We're stranded in another galaxy. We've only got one starship, yours, and it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, honest, but hurtful. What do you need us to do? Fine. First, get yourself to the shipyard. You're authorized to use any of the minerals you brought that we didn't use for repairs to make upgrades for your ship. Make sure you've got a surveyor module installed because your next task is to do a survey of the planets in the system. See if there's anything that we can use that might pose a threat. Then report back your findings. Looks like we've got a mission and we can go into the shipyard. Here is Lieutenant Chang, the chief engineer. Thanks for your cargo. We can make some upgrades. Ship configuration system is pretty self-explanatory. We have a lossless material recycle owner. So feel free to experiment with different builds. You won't lose resources. Simplify ship build out. You can start with a blueprint. Since you're going to do surveys, I'd suggest the light surveyor. So we can say example. Pick up the light surveyor. We can also see what our future potentially holds in store for us. The galaxy surveyor or galaxy explorer. A bit like the Enterprise D, even if the cutter looks more like that. But one day we're gonna get a dreadnought. My god, that thing looks like it's bristling. Bristling with weapons. Broadsider has all of these guns on one side, perhaps? Interesting designs. Um, yeah, let's let's load it. So, the way this works, I mean, as you can see, we can strip off everything here. And we can put on engines. Yeah, well, we don't have enough gold for that, but using materials that we collect as you can see this is the list of our materials by doing all kinds of different things and you can then upgrade your ship there are no limits as far as I can tell um, outside of research okay there are a number let me rephrase that there's a number of limits research and materials um, I think research also costs a material? Well, well, we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, so, I mean, right now we have 128 gold, so we can only put two engines there, right? You can use extra reactors, but they also, they cost chirolite, which we don't have. Presumably the reactors give us power. That's a bridge. I don't know what that, oh, that was the surveyor module, wasn't it? Indeed. If I took this off, what does a reactor exactly do? I cannot... I don't have the resources for it. It's this. Huh? Energy reserve 200, energy production 9 a second. Why is it less now than when I didn't have one? What does a reactor do? doesn't actually tell you. Well, I'm pretty sure we need one. <laughs> All right, we've got our two gun turrets here. Plasma DPS of 7.6. Surveyor module. Engine, engine. Can't do much more than what they've asked for, and I don't see any reason to not do it. Um, I do wish the reactor would tell me more specifically what it does. Energy production is now at 9. Now it's at three. But the engines give more? I don't really understand it. Now we could put another gun on here. Had we had enough, what is it? Titanium. Last we were out of titanium. And you can do this as much as you want. You can experiment as much as you want, which I really like. There's no penalty for trying out weird new things. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> it tells you right here. Generates energy. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I can't believe that I, I missed uh, reading that, and I feel the fool. I'm sure you were probably yelling at me until I did that, but okay, we've got that. Now we need to go out and survey three planets. See three planets in our scanners. Let's go survey. We are a bit of a bigger ship now. We've got two engines, two guns, and this uh, survey thing. Uh, oh, this is actually unsurveyed. Let's go ahead and scan this one. No anomaly is detected. Okay. We will just carry on then. I'm playing this in uh, not full screen. I'm playing windowed. It's actually messing up my uh, cursors here. Anyways, I'm going to scan this one. 
surface anomaly detected. Let's go and check it out. Gonna send a probe down there? Swiss of the anomaly signal is an overgrown abandoned research lab. The upper levels of the lab have been ruined by centuries of exposure to the elements, but in an underground facility, the team finds what appears to be an intact AI core. The team's xenotechnician thinks they can either restart the core or cut out the memory banks and try to extract the data. Uh, yeah, let's activate it. Technician uses the lander's computer to bootstrap the AI core. Universal translator seems to translate what it says. It's apparently corrupted and only repeats, Eyes locked, stop any key return. Huh. Was able to get some data from it. Research points, titanium, and cherylite. Well, we, once we, we have one more planet, we'll go and scan that one. Yeah, just one planet left, and then we'll go back, and this will unlock for us the research situation. I'm uh, I'm very excited to explore one of this game. I have I have played up to here, and even a little bit further. So I don't you know I don't know much about how the game progresses, but I have high hopes. It's it's beautiful. The music is nice. I am very intrigued overall. Let's go ahead and give this place a scan. Just like space, it's slow with moments of intense action. Source of anomalous readings is a small, dense titanium sphere, which contains a transmitter emitting short, regular bursts. But artificial objects were detected to explain the sphere's presence. How odd. Well, we got some titanium. Now we can go back. Get a little shuttle back there. Thank you. It's all the planets. Let's head back to the station. So this is a sun. This is a planet. This is a planet. This is our station, I suppose. Still feeling a little bit sick. Had some issues over the weekend with uh, possibly an infection of a wisdom teeth that, that I may or may not have. Cannot die. What? Oh my god. Did I just. Okay. I crashed into that and now I'm burning. And. Okay. Yeah, there's my hull. Okay, I need to get out of windowed mode, which I'll do after this because it's actually. This is actually hidden. Uh, task bar there and it looks like we actually repair on our own do we well let's go ahead and dock commander price read your logs the abandoned lab is interesting for two reasons there's another civilization in this region beyond beside the chittick somewhat less hostile two we found a treasure trove of research data good news and bad news our research lab is up and running again and we've lost a lot of our technical data we can recover it using the research data we discover here we make scientific discoveries. I really like that, right? It's not, we are just going to be making massive technological breakthroughs all the time. But instead, we're going to be using the things that we discover here to kind of piece together things that we've already known, but has become corrupted in our systems, right? We are an advanced uh, spacefaring group. So it doesn't, you know, it stands to reason that, you know, we've seen that we've even have more advanced technologies. So, Kind of like that. It's, it's a bit. Of, it's a. It's a good, good uh, technique. I think technique to maintain that kind of immersion. Anyways, I am Lieutenant Commander Pillman, head of the research lab. But you may call me Doctor Pillman. The data you've uncovered during your errands will allow me to recover some of our lost technologies and possibly discover new ones. Choose wisely. The Commodore has decided that you, a ship's commander with no science background, should choose the direction of our research because you are in the field, as she puts it. Unlike the shipyard, once we research technology, those points are locked in. We can't unresearch something, so choose wisely. All right, he wants to research turbo thrusters, if nothing else, and get faster, or get away. Uh, but I only have two doctorates, so you may know better. True, I may. So here we can kind of see the research tree. There is a lot of stuff. There is a lot of stuff. Wow. Stellar engineering gives us new kinds of classes. What does... Ah, more modules. Hull integrity, better armor. Armor modules, battle-ready systems. We've got special projects down here. Apparently, you get things to unlock those that we don't know what they are. Abstract applications, tractor beam splitters. Gives us tractor beams, apparently, somewhere here. Giving small bonuses, scanner range, repair rate, and energy reserves. 
here's a more powerful energy recharge and probably um, reserves plasma tarts to use railgun acceleration faster projectiles I do like that to make up for my um, lack of aim <laughs> here's just more uh, more power on this one increases the fire rate all right this is all just makes your weapons a little bit stronger doesn't seem like um, you're gonna have really new kinds of weapons you just kind of stick with uh, plasma guns positron gas and then you just research them and get them better so interesting lots of different ways we can do it and of course here's our thrust we don't know what this is we don't know what all of that stuff is well so these are presumably alien technologies which we have no knowledge of right we have aware we're aware of molecular integrity but um we're not aware of this stuff all right well we'll, we'll follow his advice we'll pick up the turbo thrust research complete we actually still have a little bit of research left 75 which we can use and i think i am going to get the um accelerators here as i said to kind of make up for my own less um slightly less good oh yeah you promote me thanks to research grad student um sorry to interrupt the science but yes we should go to the commander i am going to pick up these rail accelerators i think for reasons previously stated, why not? Let's go ahead and check it out. Boom, done. And uh, now we can go back to command. i talk to you. Our laundry and scanners have detected a warp nexus in the sector. It definitely wasn't here when we arrived. I don't know whether this is part of a phenomenon we encountered earlier or the result of your activities in the system. I hope it's a way back to Starcom space, but even if it leads to another sector here in Xeno, as my crew is calling this region, very original there, crew, I still want to know what's on the other side. Uh, yeah, we don't care if there's no way back. We're gonna go. Leading to another system. Take a look around before putting back. Hopefully you find some friendlies or at least some more resources. Before heading out, make sure you do any tech research or ship upgrades you might need, just in case. Well, we actually can, for example, put a new gun here. Uh, what happened to my survey? No, it's there. Um, we can drop a third gun down. Right, that's it. Why not? Let's do it. We are now maxed out on modules. So if we want to uh, grow larger, then we're going to need. Where are you, Scout class? Could have actually done it now, but I'm I'm pretty happy to go with this. We've made ourselves better. I mean, it would be a waste now because we actually don't have enough resources to grow. Um, and we're all set. Let's go ahead and leave the station. You can see we now have three guns and they do move quite a bit faster. Looks like we've got turbo thrust technology. We can go faster with the uh, shift. It does use energy. And where was this thing that I'm supposed to go to? Uh, do you see any indication? That's not what I want. Mission log? Yeah, um, I just want to go to the place. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that's handy. I'm right. I don't know what you are. What is this person? purple thing? Oh, wow. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Did not know about that previously. Um, we will zoom in and we'll go, yeah, up here. Seems like it's where you want me to go. Let's boost on over into this region. Check out this wormhole. Nothing like the structure is David. Maybe it's one of the civilizations in this galaxy is really into abstract minimalist sculpture. Can I scan it? No. I fly into it. No. All right. Well, then it's in the other direction. That was apparently nothing. Perhaps it will be of use at some point in the future. But uh, let's go and check this thing out. I bet you this is being cut off on the screen, maybe. 
feeling a little bit of a chug from this thing. I think it, uh, <laughs> it's, it's messing with my graphics a bit. Oh, crap. All right. Well, it sent us through. Apparently just sitting on it. We'll do that. We are now here. We've got some bogeys. Let's get into a fight. We've got our upgraded guns. Maybe I will be... Oh my god, get wrecked. Yep, yep. This was the right choice. <laughs> Definitely more effective in combat. With the, I mean, okay, we, we've got a lot more guns than the last fight we got into. Um... All right, new space to explore. You can see there's quite a bit of interesting things going on here. Oh, yeah, there's uh, something connecting it. Ooh, more stars, more things to explore. That's all going to have to be for next time. Even this episode's gotten a little bit long because I wanted to get up to this point. I can actually pause it because apparently enemies are showing up. I'm excited. This is as far as I've gotten. I, um, I really like the feel of the game. I'm excited to uh, to get out there and explore space, see what's in store for us, have a little bit of action in my life as well. You know, I always play some turn-based games, so um, this is a bit of a difference. It's another challenge, I have to say, doing uh, real-time games on the channel. Um, you know, talking over and or just not talking at all. Also, the pressure of missing and like being bad. <laughs> <laughs> is also very real. I don't feel that at all with turn-based games. You know, it's all decision-making in my head. I'm very confident with that. Whereas, you know, clicking on something and trying to hit it with a gun, I feel, yeah, there's a little bit more pressure though. More anxiety. But I digress. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you like this series, if you like this game, let me know down in the comments. Likes also help me out. You know, I'm, I'm always trying to figure out different um, approaches, new videos to play, what kind of series should I really double down on, and um, these are two ways to kind of guide me if you're so interested in doing that. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, of course, subscriptions go a long way. I will say, I don't uh, tend to repeat this little thing there. Um, I, don't, I don't often ask you kind folks to do that, but I do on the first video, so if you're here and you want to do any of those things, feel free to do it if you hate it. You know, smash that dislike button as well. You know, just go ahead. Let me know what you think. That's um, that's what it's really there for for me. So again, hope you guys have enjoyed this. We're gonna have new episodes every day for it. Stick around for that. Till then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.